welcome back everybody to a series that hopefully you all love as much as I do because I am super excited to get to get going with this game for you guys and to get get into online modes and just progress and I really want this to be led by you guys I want you guys to make decisions for me what to put in my deck versus what not to put in my deck and everything like that so obviously um, with the tutorials out of the way in the last episode, if you guys didn't see it, we cleared all of the tutorials. It only took about 30 minutes, which is nice. So now, we're going to be unlocking classes and playing our first online games, which I'm super stoked for. So, here we go. Obviously, today's quest, complete a game and play mode. We'll definitely do that today, and we'll get a, our first pack for it. Um, but before we go in and jump into play mode... I'm going to make my own basic mage deck. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to jump straight into. This is a great place to make a custom deck with your So yeah, I guess I should go this through this real quick. So this is the deck or like the collection screen. Obviously, I have the mage specific cards right here, which we have all seen in the tutorial. And then we have the the neutral cards, which every class can use, which there are a lot more than we saw um, in than in the tutorial. So obviously we can make a total of nine decks. So before we make our first deck, we're actually going to use the basic mage deck just to make this quicker. Oh no, just kidding. We're going to practice mode. We're going to use the basic mage just to quickly take care of the warrior. It'd be really embarrassing if I lose this game because these normal uh, CPU opponents are absolutely horrible. Um, but you know, I'm ready to go. I've got my water. I've, I've, I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm ready to go. Hopefully, you guys are ready to go too. I really want to get on with this series, open up some packs, obviously. We'll be doing that this episode. We'll be making our warrior deck. So as I talked about in the last episode, if you guys didn't miss it, um, I'm going to start with the warrior deck. Um, so right now I'm basically just unlocking it so I can make my own deck with it, and then we can jump into online mode and unlock more cards. So right here... I'm going to get rid of Raid Leader because I don't have that many minions to buff with it. And then I'm going to get rid of Fireball because honestly I don't really need it at the beginning. But Bloodfin Raptor is a really good 2 drop for me. Murloc Raider obviously pretty dang good too. And we're going first. So as a 1 mana drop I think it's obvious we play Murloc Raider. So Bullet Fist Ogre is good for the late, late game. Um, he doesn't do anything on the first turn. So I think it's pretty obvious we send 2 to the face. And play the blood thing. Okay. What would be really good here? Um, an arcane explosion would be very good. But no. So what we're going to do, we're going to send a fire blast to the scout. And then trade there. And send through to his face. I couldn't, really, I couldn't play any of these cards. So there, that was really the only option. And yes, so... The warrior's hero power is gain two armor, which is nice because it's basically like gain two life. Oh, there's the arcane explosion. One turn late. Um, here I'm just gonna fire blast and send three to the face. I could have fireballed him in the face, but I kind of like fireball as a removal spell, but also as a um, a finisher spell, like to finish finish off his guy. Um, Polymorph, also great. Here, I think I'm going to Arcane Explosion and send the Bloodfin Raptor into him. Or I could Nightblade. Okay, here's something. I could Nightblade and just get another minion on the field, and then I would use the Bloodfin Raptor to his face, probably. Or I could Fireball him, but that doesn't do anything for me. Or I could Arcane Explosion and then kill him, but not play any minions. I don't like Polymorph in this situation. I think Polymorph is really bad. It'd be decent if we had 6 mana, because then we could Polymorph um, this guy into a 1-1, and then Arcane Explosion would kill both of them, but we don't have that 
ple that pleasure. So I think we're gonna Nightblade and send three to his face. Um, that way he's only down to 17 health, but he's gonna armor up, so that's a, that's a pain. Okay, so Arcade Explosion is gonna get some incredible value here. Pretty dang incredible value here. Wow. Okay. Perfect. River crop. Okay, so we're gonna arcade explosion. Send a fire blast to the frost wolf. Come on. There we go. And then send out a river croc and deal four to the face. Down to 15 health. We're still at 30. This is obviously a really easy matchup here. And he's just gonna kill the night blade with that. Jeez, this, this is definitely a control hunter. You're just sending minions out that play other minions. Okay, so here we're gonna po we're gonna pose a threat with Bullerfist Ogre, I think. Let's do it. He's gotta be he's gotta take care of it, and we're gonna kill the one one. Um, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe that, that might have been a misplay, but. That's a good card, we've never seen this before. Girabasha Berserker, whenever this minion takes damage, it gains plus three attack. So that's obviously pretty dang annoying to deal with. However, I could just polymorph it right now. I think I'm going to do that, and then we will fire blast him, and then polymorph him, and then send out a Murloc Raider. So the sheep is probably going to go into the Morlock Raider, but Boulderfish Ogre is alive. And we win this turn because I kept both fireballs. 17 health, this does 12. Plus 6 is 18. That's game. Well played, computer, but I have outplayed you too easy. But I, I really love the Warrior deck. I love how it plays. I love how good it is online. Um, but as you can see here, we just got level 2 for mi 2 and a, you know, almost level 3. So we unlocked Warrior, but we also unlocked a really good spell for Mage called Frostbolt. Deal 3 damage to a character and freeze it. And basically what freezing is that the minion that you freeze, or the hero that you freeze, can't do anything their next turn while it's frozen. So I really like that. And we're going to create our own warrior deck here. I know we haven't unlocked any of the cards besides the, the starting ones. So we're going to go ahead. We're level 1 with Gearosh, but executes a really good card. Yep, Fiery War uh, Heroic Strike. Charge is pretty good. Just because we have no other cards, we'll put it in. Warsong Commander also. Pretty decent. So what I want to focus with this warrior is basically control. So we're going to get Acidic Swamp Boost to take care of any weapons that are played. Um, I think that's good for this page. Here. Um, I'm going to take some Novice Engineers for some card draw and also some Murloc Tide Hunters. No, you know, we got enough, we got enough two mana drops. Let's move on to threes. Okay, so I kind of like Iron for Grizzlies as an early taunt. And we're going to get some Razorfin Hunters. Yeah, let's get some Razorfin Hunters and also some Shattered Sun Clerics to buff up our other minions. I'm not going to play Raid Leader. It's not my favorite card because it's only a 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two on Yetis is absolutely necessary. It's one of the best cards in the game. Uh, two Dragon Lee Mechanics is also very good. Two Gnomish Inventors is very good. Uh, we got four cards left. Uh, I, I kind of want two Sengins. I'll probably take some of these out to put in some more late game, because right now we don't have any late game. <laughs> um, for late game, I kind of want two Storm Winds, and I will take out one Razor Fen Hunter, and one Charge. And instead, I think I'll put in two Boulder Fist Ogres. Because it's just a great six mana drop. So uh, <laughs> maybe I could use a little bit less. I'll take I'll take out one Novish Inventor. We need a five mana drop. Um, 
I could go... Okay, there are obviously not very many 5 mana drops to start out. I could play Stormbright Command though, because it's an automatic 2 damage to something. Or I could Nightblade, it's an automatic 3 damage to the hero. Gurubakshi Berserker isn't my favorite unless it's in a mage deck. Warlord is good in a shaman deck. And I don't really like those two. So I think we're going to go with the Nightblade. I'll go with one Nightblade. That makes the curve a little bit better. I'll take out one Grizzly and put in another Nightblade, I think. That makes the curve better. Okay. And we are going to play our first online match in this game. Uh, with our custom warrior deck After this uh, I think either if it's a win or a loss I think we're gonna get some new cards for the warrior deck. So we'll just progress through uh, Each time we level up get new cards change our deck up after we play this game actually we'll get a pack and uh, What am I hoping from that pack? Maybe uh, uh, I Don't even know what's a what's a good rare card for the warrior uh, Armor Smith is really good, um, but I don't think it complements our deck very well at the start. Okay, so here I'm gonna get rid of these two cards because they're for the, my late game. Heroic Strike is good, basically kind of just a removal spell kind of a thing. That's what I like to use it for. But uh, we're gonna see what's going on here with this uh, quirky orc. Obviously, I think most of the guys are gonna be playing are mages because they just go straight out of the tutorial with either th that basic deck or a deck of their own that they made of mage but early on they will just be playing mage I think <coughs> although some uh, some news was, rele was, was released today about the hunter class um, I think for all of us that have played um, the the latter um, obviously we run into some aggro hunters everywhere, but to help contain it, they're actually changing the cost of Unleash the Hounds from two to three now. So I think there will be a lot less aggro hunters out there. And what is this guy doing? Come on. He's not even mousing over his cards. Uh, okay. Well, that's a little awkward. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to get a pack before we even play our first game. Okay, then. Uh, Duelist, play three games in play mode. So once we do three more games, we'll be buying another pack. Here we go. So we get at least one rare card, sometimes better. Let's see what we get. We get a common, common, rare, common. Common. So that's what the standard kind of pack is, but let's see what we're gonna get first ever pack Before our first ever game, which is kind of weird Fairy dragon. Okay, really good card uh, It's a two mana three two, but it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Obviously, that's also a con because you can't target it with um, With uh, buff spells that you have but no problem. I like fairy dragon as a two drop Loot Lu order a very common card uh, it's kind of like Novice Engineer in a way, except you draw a card when it dies, and it's a 2-1, so I actually like it a lot better than Novice Engineer, so that is definitely going in our deck. Next we got a Spellbreaker, ooh, that's definitely going in our deck, we actually don't have any Silence in our deck, which could be a problem, but now we got Spellbreaker, a 4-mana four 4-3, four which isn't the best, but silencing a minion is definitely worth it. Our last common card, Wind Fury Harpy. Um, a 6 mana 4 5 with Wind Fury. And basically, what Wind Fury is, is it gets to attack twice in one turn. And I actually really like it in the um, Hunter deck because you can, with one of those charge cards, you can make it a 7. 7? No, 6 5 with charge and Wind Fury. So it's basically 12 damage for sure. Um, but here we go. We're going to get this blue epic. Uh, not epic, rare card. But it is going to be epic. Here we go. Holy fire for the priest, that is awful. Well, it's not awful, but it's definitely not what we're looking for. Let's open up this custom warrior here. What have we got? Fairy dragon. Um, I'm gonna, uh, no, I, li I like acidic sword. No, I'm gonna get rid of one ooze for one dragon. And I'm also gonna get 
get rid of one engineer for one loot hoarder. What else do we have? Spellbreaker definitely coming in here. Uh, I'll get rid of a Dragonling. And then we got a Wind Fury Harpy, which I very, very like. I very, very like. That doesn't make much sense. I uh, I need more five drops though. I need to keep. I need to keep Nightblade. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of one ogre. Um, but because we're doing that, we're gonna want our other charge card. So let's get rid of. Let's get. Oh, this is a tough decision. Let's get rid of one Warsong Commander. Um, I think Charge is a really good card, especially when we have Wind Fury Harpy, because that is technically just a basic uh, a finisher. If you can play on turn 9, a 6 mana Wind Fury Harpy and a 3 mana Charge is an automatic 12 damage, which is pretty good. And it's tough to deal with. It's a, it's a target for the, for the opponent to kill instead of going for my face, which is also very good, but... Um, especially if we can uh, get like a one or two Senge and Shield Masters in front of it. Okay, so just like I predicted, we're playing against the Mage and we're going second this time. I'm going to get rid of both Chargers and the Execute. I'm going to keep the Warsong Commander though. What are we going to get? Novice Engineer is pretty good. Shadows and Cleric also pretty good. All those. So you get the coin. Okay, yeah. So when we, when we go second, we get the coin, which is basically gain one mana crystal this turn only which is good he's gonna play out a mirror image and try to stall um, I love that card playing a mage but we're, right now we're gonna coin into a novice engineer and see what we draw chill and yeti okay so obviously I think this guy made his own made his own deck yeah because he uh, I don't think you start with mirror image in your um, in your class, so he's just gonna fire blast the novice engineer. But I didn't have it out there for the damage. All I wanted was the card draw. So here um, we're just gonna armor up. I could use a heroic strike to kill one of these guys, but I definitely do not like that trade. Two mana to deal with something that to deal with one thing of the two that was played for one mana. I don't. I really, yeah, I really don't like that trade, so. Get in there and fight, okay, so he's going to be able to do two damage to me this turn. And he's going to fire boss me. Um, an arcane explosion would be pretty good. Let's see what we're going to get. A night blade. Not useful. Um, I could Warsong Commander. Or I could Iron Fur. I think I'm going to Warsong. Because if I play... I like playing Iron for Grizzly on a turn where he can't for sure kill it, but he can kill, if he chooses to, he can kill Warsong Commander if he wants, but if he doesn't, that's really good for me because I can play an Iron for Grizzly with charge, because of course, this guy's ability is whenever I summon a minion with three or less attack, give it charge, so basically if I play either of these two, they're charged up, and then I can clear his mirror images, but that is only if he doesn't kill the Warsong Commander. Which he is, is not going to? I don't know. Don't quite know yet. But let's play with the play with the map real quickly while we wait. This guy's name name is Dark Hunter, but he is still level 25. I'm level 25, but I believe that we should be able to win these games. Um, he is actually is going to clear the board, so that's probably a good play on his part. And because he died, I obviously there's no reason in playing these guys. So I'm definitely gonna drop a chill with Yeti. And hopefully force out like a polymorph. Because if a polymorph comes out, that's good for me because that's one less polymorph that I have to deal with later that he would play on, let's say, like a Stormwind Champion. But yep, he is gonna polymorph, okay. That's good for me because I baited it out and I still have a 1-1 to actually <laughs> this is gonna be a funky play 
Um, I'm gonna play Shattered Sun and bump up the sheep. So this way, his fireball can't actually kill it, and then I will um, armor up for my last two mana. I think that was <laughs> that was kind of a funny play, but but now he can't kill anything on the board without like a flame. Uh, he can't even flame strike. Um, I guess he could play something with spell power and do arcane explosion, but I doubt he has that. So uh, there aren't many spell power mage decks out there. However, I actually have one in my... Okay, so he is, he is running Arcane Explosion, but that only kills one minion and leaves one with one health. He still has two mana, though, which he's not going to use. So I could bump it up again <laughs> and make it survive even longer. I actually kind of like that. Hold on, with six mana, what can we do? We could play Nightblade. I don't like that play. I like the I like the Shattered Sun. I think we're for sure gonna do that. So basically the board is the exact same as it was last turn, except we have control. And this is a 3-2 instead of a 2-2. But now we have a couple options. We could send out the taunt, we could send out the fairy dragon, or we could armor up. I kinda like Iron for Grizzly. Or we could give this a 5-2, make it a 5-2 charge, but I don't really like that. I kinda like sending out a taunt because this way he he can't really kill these guys. Although, uh, maybe I shouldn't have played a minion because he might play Flame Strike this turn. But maybe he's too low of a level of a mage to even have Flame Strike, so I don't know. We'll see what he does here. Next turn, I like Stormwind Champion, especially um, if he doesn't. Okay, he does have Flame Strike. That's a good play. I probably should have just armored up in that case. Uh, but now with five mana, I mean seven, sorry, I kind of like Nightblade and Fairy Dragon. I think that's the best play here. We've drawn out one Flame Strike. He probably has a second, I am guessing. We haven't, he hasn't played any Fireballs, so he could play that on Nightblade. Uh, he still has one Polymorph. Um, can't think of anything else that he would probably have because he's so. This is probably some of the well, maybe one of the first games he's played. So he's gonna freeze me directly. Uh, I don't think that's a good play. I would have thrown that spell at Nightblade and killed it with the hero power. But who knows? Maybe that's a good play. Gonna heal himself and fire blast me directly. That is a bad play, in my opinion. Very bad play. Um, what would be a good card here? Okay, explosion. Now I'm really, really wondering why he. Okay, sure. If I summon a razor fin hunter, it'll probably bait out another flame strike. But if I play Storm and Champion, I kind of like it better. Because what would I play with play Razor Fan? I would Hero Power and a Heroic Strike and kill the Voodoo Doctor, I guess. I kind of like Storm and Champion. It makes him deal with what I have on the board. And I actually didn't even think of this until now that I play that he can't kill the Fairy Dragon with his Hero Power. So what am I expecting here? I'm expecting a Fireball to Storm and Champion. And then... Oh wait, he couldn't kill Fairy Dragon anyways with his Hero Power because it can't be targeted by it. That's why it's such a good card. He's going to Polymorph. Okay, that's good. And then an Arcane Missile is also a good card, but... Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. He'll probably kill the Fairy Dragon here and then Fire Blast the Sheep. Um, I would love drawing my... Oh, he's going to do it to me directly. That's a bad play. Fire War Axe is a good card to have right now. Razor Fen Hunter. Uh, we're going to play our Axe, and then we're going to armor up. And we'll go ahead and deal 3 damage with the weapon. 
Um, I could see a flame strike here if he has it. But I'm not sure he has his second flame strike. He has both of his fireballs. He might be using them as a finisher, though. But obviously, right now, I have. Okay, that's a horrible play. Ready for action! I. He's gone all out. He'll probably fire blast the boar or the sheep. Doesn't matter which. He'll do it to the sheep. Okay, so I think this is an easy play. Oh, this is good. This is really good. So we're going to kill it with the Razor Fin. Then we're going to put the boar into the core hound. But guess what? We have Execute. Destroy a damaged enemy minion. For one mana, we basically clear the board. I'm going to play Acidic Swamp Ooze and Armor Up. And since we do have Heroic Strike, I am going to use our last for ability. He's down to 14 health. If we draw, if we draw, um, Wind Fury, uh, uh, the Har the Harpy, then we win. Let's see, we have 9, 10, 12, okay, well he played a ton, so. That doesn't really help. Execute is pretty dang good here. Um, that way we don't have to send two creatures into it. So we're just going to do this, take him down to 7 health, and, wow, I could have taken him down to 1. I didn't even calculate that. That, oh, jeez. Okay, so pretty much whatever we draw here, we win. Um, is that game? Yes, that is game. No mission venture. Okay, so we're gonna give this guy plus two attack. He's gonna kill him. We're gonna do that. And our first game is a, a pretty sure win. We still had 28 health. Uh, that's if you if you include the armor. So we're gonna get our first win. And we are almost level three. Wow. Okay, Cleave. Really good card. Deal two damage to two random enemy minions. That is for sure going in our deck. That obviously has really, really, really good synergy with the card Execute. Because I can damage, or I can kill any damaged enemy minion. Um, so, I'm going to get rid of one Heroic Strike. And I'm also going to get rid of one Charge, I think. Charge isn't the best card. It's only good if I combine it with Wind Fury Harpy. So I don't need two of them. So first game, first win is pretty dang good. Let's see if we can get a winning streak going. At level 4 we get Corpor on Elite, which is a really good card. It's a 4 mana, 4-3 four, with charge. Getting into our second game... <clears throat> we'll probably play the second and third game in this episode. Maybe just the second. So we're playing our first Hunter match, which could be difficult, but again, he is in the last... Um, he is in the last seed, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But here we're going to get rid of these two because they're end game cards. Fiery Warks is really good against the Hunter because it can take out early stuff like... Um, Animal Companion, stuff like that. Uh, Aesthetic Swamp Ooze is really good if he is running Eagle Horn Bow. We can just destroy it for free. Gnomish Adventure and Gnomish Engineer will allow me to get some card drop. <coughs> He's going to coin into Hero Power. Okay, so this guy doesn't know how to play the game. <laughs> you never coin into Hero Power the first turn. That's a horrible misplay. Deal two damage to the enemy hero. It's a really good hero power, but um, like coin is better used in almost any other way. Like, coining out an animal companion on the second turn is a really, really good play, and really efficient, too. But we're down to 26 health early on, but that's pretty standard against the warrior. Um, with three, I'm going to iron for grizzly, and we're going to get some value out of this novice engineer, it looks like. Uh, what could he do with three mana? He could... Well, he can't multi-shot because 
he did, he already played the coin, so Silverback Patriarch. I think I'm gonna get that with the Fiery Wax and Novice Engineer. So we're gonna. I kind of want to save the ooze. I'll, you also don't want to rush the board against a uh, hunter. So because of the unleash the hound. So instead of playing uh, acidic swamp ooze, I'm actually just gonna armor up because you do want to be conscious about your health against a hunter because almost all hunters are aggro. So they'll try to whittle down your health as fast as you as they can. Obviously, using their hero power is a really good way. Uh, because it's a really, really, really OP uh, hero power. But ours just kind of cancels it out because we can gain two armor and then he'll do two damage to us and then we can regain two armor and then he can take that armor off and then... So yeah, basically, right now we're winning in health, which is kind of weird. He's going to play a secret. That could be misdirection. I doubt it, though, because he probably hasn't opened very many packs. It could be freezing trap. It could be Explosive Trap, in which case it's a horrible play, because that wouldn't kill Iron for Grizzly. So I'm assuming it's Freezing Trap. So we'll see. Yep, Freezing Trap. So this, uh, this Iron for Grizzly now costs 5. So I could Sengen Shieldmaster this turn, I could Nightblade, or I could Gnomish Inventor. I'm going to send in Shield Master, and I'm actually not going to use my uh, my axe to deal three damage to him directly. I'm going to save it for when he plays stuff like Animal Companion or a Starving Buzzard or a uh, Scavenging Hyena or something like that. Um, Booty Bit Bodyguard. Um. It's actually kind of difficult to deal with right now because I don't have anything to take care of it unless I put my hero and my Senjin into it, which I don't like. So instead, I'm going to Chill Wind Yeti and Armor Up. And because because I did that, is he'll probably send Booty Bay Bodyguard into the Senjin Shield Master. He'll be down to one health. And then he'll play another minion, most likely, and then I can cleave and deal two damage to two random minion minions. It will kill the bodyguard, and hopefully whatever whatever else he plays. But we'll see what he plays. Hopefully you guys can hear me better in this episode. Um, I know I was a little bit quiet in the first one, and also I had my recording screen kind of messed up, and also it was in 360p. So that is obviously not something I want to be doing for this series. I want it to be 720p. I want you guys to be seeing the right stuff and not the stupid Hearthstone in the top. Hearthstone, um, I don't know what you call it. The window. The top of the window, whatever you want to call it. But We'll see what this hunter does. It's kind of weird that a hunter is running Booty Bay Bodyguard. Well, I guess it's not that weird because we're, uh, we are in the 25th. So he's gonna play a charge and an animal campaign, which is kind of weird. What did he get? Oh my! That was lucky. He got Huffer. That was extremely lucky. He got Huffer. We're gonna get some serious um, usage out of this cleave. Oh man. Okay, so with seven mana, I could execute and then cleave and clear the board. That leaves me with five mana to drop a Nightblade. I really like this play. What else could have we could we have done? I could have dropped Boulderfist Ogre, but that wouldn't have cleared the board. So, oh, that leaves me with four. Oh, I totally miscounted that. Okay, we'll play No Mission Venture instead then. I don't mind that. We get another Senju, which is good. We also could have. Um, we could have played a Cynic Swamp Boost, but I definitely want to save that just in case he has a weapon. So I could deal three damage to it and then send in No Mission Renter, which I think is good. He'll deal two damage to me directly. I'm down to 18 health, which is scary. But we did just draw Stormwind Champion, which is interesting because then I could kill it with the Chill Wind Yeti and keep my weapon. Or, I could play Senjin, 
the six wampus and armor up. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, uh, it does put a lot of minions out there for a um, a potential unleash the hounds, but I don't mind that too much because I have Sengen Shieldmaster out there to block out those unleash the hounds. Although if he does have a starving buzzard, that's a really good combination of those two cards. Multi shot is going to kill No Mission Venture and leave Sending Shield Master with two health. So obviously he doesn't have Unleash the Hounds or he would have played that first, which is good for us. Scare the guy's snooze a little bit, okay. Um, Acidic Swampoos is a really good trade for that. And then with 9 mana, I think we're going to send out a Stormwind Champion and armor up. Yeah, I think that's a good play. We obviously want to arm, armor up as much as we can against this guy. He's down to 9 health though, which is really, really good because if he... We have Nightblade. If he doesn't kill Stormwind Champion... If he doesn't... Yeah, if he doesn't kill Stormwind Champion, we win. Because we have Nightblade, and then I'll take him down to 6, and then we can send damage into him. Guys, we are on a roll early on. I know it's the last seat, but man, are we killing it. The more games we play, the more packs we'll be able to open as well. Which is obviously what we want to do, because the packs are the number one source of the cards that we want to get for this Hunter class. But also, I'm not only going to be playing Hunter, I mean uh, Warrior. For the king. Wow, that's horrible. We win. So we're gonna send a quick well played to this guy. And man, I had a ton of damage in hand too. Well played to that guy, Luna Lunestrel. I don't know. We just got our second um, star though, and we are. Level 3, in the next game we play, we'll get core, two Corcoran Elites, which are really good, and we did unlock the Hunter. Um, so, I think that is it for this episode. I will be recording another one right at, like right now, I think. So, But, next episode... Let's go over what we're going to do in the next episode. So, depending on what you guys put in the comments, I will make a new deck if you guys want me to. Obviously, we could play... Oh, no, we can't play Priest. Uh, we could play Mage. We can make a Mage deck. We can make a uh, Hunter deck if you guys want me to. Um, right now, or at least for the next episode, we're going to be playing Warrior because I obviously I already made a Warrior deck. Oh, we got to name this, man. Actually, no. no. Leave, leave your input in the comments. Right now, I'm just going to put Warrior for now. But leave your input in the comments. What do you guys want me to name this deck? Also, what I want you guys to put in the comments, just like I mentioned right before, is new decks that you want me to make. Um, and next episode, we will be um, playing one more, at least one more game in play mode, and then we'll be opening up another pack. And um, stuff, well, I don't know. I could unlock Priest because I did unlock a rare card for it, uh, which is pretty dang good, but we'll see what you guys have to say. Guys, I am super excited for this series. Um, hopefully you guys are too. I love this game. I love all of you, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.